hello. How is everybody uh, this fine Monday? Um, the weather today here was actually not terrible. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the weather was like outside, but the weather in my office today was not terrible. Uh, humidity was tolerable. And I, I don't know if it's just me having been in hot rooms for so long. My thermometer said 75 all day today and I was cold, but I think it was because my body is rejecting the fact that I've been in rooms that are 75 and up for too many days in a row. Um, I have been hydrating, so I, I the, and the dizziness is from my sinuses. It's, it's not heat stroke, but uh, or heat exhaustion, but 75 is usually not where I want it. I would much prefer something closer to like 68 degrees. Um, or, you know, that sweet spot of 69 would be a wonderful temperature uh, to exist in. But the rooms that I am confined to at home at the moment are... Um, on the warm end of the apartment <clears throat> because there's no duct work in my apartment. Um, hang on, I'm getting buffering. Anyway, uh, hopefully you're not. I'm just going to refresh and see. Oh, we are encountering a buffer. Okay. It wasn't my imagination. Um, so yeah, there's no ductwork. There are spaces within the walls where ducts belong, but there are no ducts within them. Uh, so despite the fact that the blower for the air handling system in the apartment is too big for the space, it still doesn't shove the air through the vents in the two back bedrooms because there's no ductwork. And if there had been ductwork that was properly sealed, it would push air out these vents. But instead, it doesn't, or it does just really minimally, which means that these, these rooms get warmer. Um, uh, but that's where I am currently, because the other half of the apartment is is where, uh, where Philip is, and... Um, I am being extremely careful. I'm back to like March 2020 levels of hand washing <laughs> because I do not want to catch this thing. And uh, I mean, he's past the point where uh, he where recommended to isolate, but still in the you should mask around people stage. So just been like avoiding uh, to, you know, not. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, I should say hello to people. Hi, Puddle Glum. Uh, the science station is a busy one today. If you hadn't noticed, um, there is some lovely new science that launched uh, about an hour ago um, from the, uh, the wonderful new space telescope that uh, NASA has put out, the one um, whose name we shall not mention. Um, and instead, we'll just call it the Lavender Scare Space Telescope, uh, owing to, you know, the events that the person it was named after oversaw at NASA. Um, <laughs> so they really should rename this stupid thing. But um, it's not a stupid thing. It's an amazing telescope, and it has an unfortunate name. And uh, we got an amazing first image. Um, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, but so, yeah, the science console, probably going to be a little busy. Uh, hi, Portico. Hi, Simsilica. Checks to see who's in astrometrics. Um, sorry, I, I'm, I'm super, actually super, super excited. I watched the announcement um, live on NASA TV. Um, I will say it could have used better production. Uh, the, the announcement was 
it was broadcast from the White House, by the White House, because uh, it was presented by the president, who was introduced by the vice president, which is fine. Uh, I Because of that, the... Uh, the early announcement w was an hour delayed, so we weren't supposed to get anything till tomorrow. Then they said it'll be today at five, which presidential announcement uh, is scheduled for five p.m. Not surprising that it happened at like six seventeen p.m. Uh, but <clears throat> after the people spoke, when they actually put the image up where people could see it. They displayed it on a wall in the room where the five people were seated at desks uh, looking at this wall. And the camera that we, the viewers online, got to see did not zoom into the image. They didn't cut to an image. We got to see the five people sitting there looking at this thing on the wall and this small little cube of an image on the wall. And I'm like... Who's directing this? The people are here to see the image. They're not here to see these five people look at the image. Zoom in on the image. Cut to the image. That's what people care about. Uh, they did eventually zoom in, but I was like, who's directing this? What? Where did you go to school? This is wrong. This is not how you do this. It could have been so much better. Anyway, uh, the NASA website has a lovely high resolution image that you can access right now uh, for the first image released by um, the unfortunately named Space Telescope. Um, I'm happy to drop a link to that um, if I can just grab it real quick. So there's a website uh, where they will be posting all of these images as they come. Um, and so this one is the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. Uh, it is the first deep field image. Um, and I saw a lovely tweet from somebody. I, I probably would not be able to find it again real quick, but um, who put side by side the one from this new telescope and the best or the, the um, deep field images that we have from Hubble. Um, and it's just stunningly, stunningly better. This is this is people have waited so long. It's a really pretty image. It's a great image. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Um, anyway, uh, how was your how was your Monday? <laughs> Anybody out there? How was your Monday? Um, I'm going to actually uh, start actually moving us over towards the game because this is the shorter gaming. Uh, 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 Stream. That's the word. Stream. I'm going to just fix this because it's... Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to head us over towards the actual, like, gaming portion of the gaming stream. Uh, but would love to hear how Monday was. Shadows, uh, you went cloth shopping. Also, hi. Um, anything in particular? Cloth shopping to me makes me think of... Um, <laughs> It just makes me think of costume design because that's where my brain goes. But also then immediately my brain says um, Renaissance Festival costumes because that's all I want to make. Uh, so, hi, Adventures of Tony. Oh, clothes shopping. Um, speaking of Adventures of Tony, I think I owe you something. I do believe that I owe you a hat. Do you have a hat that you would like me to uh, to don and and place upon my head? <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Tony. Also, 
I just realized I got a beverage like half an hour ago and I never opened it. You're banned from craft stores because you have so much fabric that you haven't. Oh. Uh, good hat for today's game. I don't know that I have one. I think if if I had something like um an old aviator style like leather pilot's hat with the goggles, that would be great for today, but I don't have one of those. Um <clears throat> I don't know! Yeah, I have nothing that, that fits the game. Um, I'm just gonna like... Just gonna grab one and put one on. <clears throat> I'm going to put on uh, my only Stetson brand hat. So here goes. I hope that this one will do. <laughs> Thank you for your patience with the uh, hat trick. Um, I just, I was literally about to sign off the last time that you uh, popped in and you redeemed the hat trick and I love it when you do, but I didn't want to like switch hats and be like, all right, bye. So, okay. I'm gonna head to the game screen. Uh, also, Tony, how how are things? I haven't heard from you in a while, other than like rarely. But um, wow, brain. I know button. I know which. I every week I do this. I know which button I'm supposed to push. Um. All right. It's all good. I hope things are good, because, oh yeah. Don't they know that you need to not have a 5 p.m. meeting on Monday? Like, push at the button, push at the button. I mean, I think we're all taking things day by day. I was super low energy on Saturday, which is why Saturday's stream was just like, nope. I could not do Saturday. I have no idea where we are in this game. I do not remember. Oh, pinball. Oh, the disco pinball thing with the, where we have the bouncy floaty ability. I don't remember how anything works. Um, I think that must be where we came in. Okay. Yes, and we bounce. <laughs> it's an emote storm. <clears throat> okay, I'm just getting a feel for the controls because it's been a week and I have forgotten how this game works. So, okay. Oh yeah, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the heads um, that are on my starting screen because I wanted to turn them into emotes, but I have not figured out what I wanted. And so I've been chatting with Bree to try and figure out what we want to do with them. Whee! Okay, I've got to be able to get on to the... Wait, oh no, I don't have to do that. Oh, I'm silly. I'm silly, silly. Uh, I don't actually know how, oh, that's how I do it. Um, there's gotta be a way, because I think I need to, yeah. Yeah, this, this is what I need to do. Ha <laughs> I got it. Oh, 
Oh, Adventures of Tony! <laughs> Thank you for the 100 pride bits! Also, um, we're just gonna throw that up for a second there. Thank you, Internet Service Preventer. It's been uh, a, a couple days since I had to think about you. You broke up with the bits. <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits, Tony. I appreciate those very much. Yeah, yesterday was amazing. Uh, no, no issues whatsoever, really. Except for my brain. Uh, my my brain had trouble yesterday with um, not buffering, but I don't think that had anything to do with my internet service preventer. Whew! I made it. Brain was distracted by shirtless Caden, indeed. Okay, but seriously, the voice actor who voices Caden, I, I don't know, I don't know I've, if I've heard him voice anything else, uh, but when he voices Caden, a lot of times I hear Casey Kasem. Oh, hi, Hannah. Welcome. Thank you for the uh, the graphic that gets used way too often on my channel. Palm bomb. Oh my gosh, 300 more. <laughs> Cause you celebrate in July in uh, my brain said San South Dakota, but it's San Diego. <laughs> Um, see, we, we celebrate in April here. You're trying to lure a train. Um, I mean, trains are dangerous. Nope. Not gonna blow my eye, man. I'm in my groove place. But I'm not opposed to it. The reactions. I mean, we can hope. I still don't have a date. I just have this. So I have a current resident uh, mailer saying that a, com a competing internet service preventer is um, on the way. Visit this website for information, and then the website doesn't have any useful information yet because they don't even have a scheduled date. But come on, dance, baby. Um. Okay. You teach me how to dance. Watch and learn, kid. I don't know who Elka is. Hey, wanna dance? Yes. Teach me of your earth <laughs> Teach me of your earth rhythms? Hey, you teach me how to dance. Come on, dance, baby. I uh, nobody is going to teach me apparently. Hey, wanna dance? Get back off and my boyfriend James. I I have no idea. I give up on the dancing. I don't want to dance anyway. I'm just going to go over to the wall over here. Um. Oh, of course. Do you have to ruin my good time? You can dance if you want to. You can leave your... Is it friend? 
You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. We can dance and sing. Sorry. I do actually like the safety dance. It's been a while since I listened to that album. Uh-oh. Mila's Adventures. I'm scared. The last one was really scary. I do not know if there are content warnings for this one. Um, last week, there were content warnings for the thing. So, possible content warnings for content that I do not know about. Uh, Mila and... What's his face? The German guy are dancing, it looks like. Or maybe they're fighting. I don't know. Um, I mean, my brain says dancing because everything was just about dancing, but it's possible they're just, you know, fighting psychically. Oh, yeah, this seems more like super spy stuff. Um... Okay, her hairstyle. I don't know how many of you have seen everything everywhere all at once. If you have, all I have to say is bagel. Um, but that that's where that hairstyle went for me. Uh huh. Okay. Just, you know, casually levitating and fighting a helicopter. So lots of just super spy stuff. The president's brain. Ending with, uh, you know, the passionate romance, uh, apparently. Your favorite place in town, Death Metal Vegan, doing a late night new wave post-punk thing on Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah. I do appreciate. Oh. Apparently I'm climbing now. This is the most. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So like, I just all I'm going to say is everything bagel. That movie is amazing. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, well, that did not work quite the way that I expected it to. Ooh, but there's also a figment to be got. Are there more figments that I missed? Did I miss more? I watched that movie again last night because amazingly good movie. Either that or I mean, I mean it, it could also just be that I identify very closely with some of the characters in that movie, <laughs> which may not be the best of things, but is truth. Right. So the question is, how do I... Whoa. Ah, I do that. Uh-huh. That's good to know, but uh, first I have to get up there, which is proving harder than expected. Is the game low? 
I can make the game louder. I think it's probably just my computer has been, I don't know, I had to boost yesterday's game too, and I didn't adjust anything, I don't know. <clears throat> right. Haha, -ha. oh, dang, come on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay. Hopefully the game sound is better for you now. Some combination of my abilities is going to get me over there. I assume levitation will be involved, but also like feels weird to be able to just because I can't I don't love it. I don't know. Well, I didn't, I I just changed the game. I didn't change my microphone. So if that changed, let me know, because it should not have changed. Okay, seriously, game, how am I supposed to get over there? Ah, there we go. I tried to do that before and it didn't work. All right, so avoid the spikes. Started back in May for a baby that's now due in, I mean, I, I, I see nothing. I see a perfectly, uh, fully completed. That shouldn't be happening. Oh dear. Do you have some problems with water? I do. do. You want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story, maybe later. Okay, I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. Huh. 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 She, um... She thinks that our problem with water is that we wet the bed. That was amazing that they, um, actually had the water do that. Alright. That was fairly easy to figure out, that part. Okay. Woo! Yes! If I fall, I have a way back up. Yay! The question is, where do I go now? I think I have to get onto that platform somehow. Oops. Well, I missed the jump, the first jump. I'm doing great. This is that um, excellent platforming, uh, or expert platforming that I uh, mentioned in the tweet. Uh, also, not you that ignored the blanket for at least a month in order to work on other projects. What? Who would do such a thing? Certainly not you. Man. Ouch. That's the first time I did that. Uh-oh, water. Okay, let's just not do this. Let's just do this. You came in on wet the bed. Hi, Detective Zen. <laughs> um, the woman's mind who we're in noticed that we had a problem with water and assumed that it had something to do with um, uh, nighttime bladder control. Ah, I see. Here it goes. Bada bada boom, bada bada boom. Emotional baggage. A diffuser platformer? I don't. What does that mean? 
I'm, I'm actually genuinely curious. What, what does that mean? Uh-oh. Ah, water! Nope. We're just doing this. Okay. <clears throat> oh! No! Oops. It's fine. We're fine. This is totally fine. Oh, difficult. I mean, so far it hasn't been terrible. Ah! <laughs> I say as I uh, immediately begin to miss every jump that I've previously done. Hi, Elixie! Um, shin 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 shinanigans? Those never happen here. Um, I hope things are going well with your house guest. Uh-oh. Okay, I have made this jump how many times now? And I'm... Diffuser platformer makes things softer. I mean, I assume so. Okay. I don't know what happens if I hit that wall. I assume it just pushes me off and, like, not anything worse than that. Whoa, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah! Whoo! I did. <laughs> Adventures of Tony, thank you again for a hundred more bits! Uh-oh. You all need to just... Take a chill pill. Elegans. Beat stupid Bobby Zilch in the levitation race. Oh dear, I have to do I have to do a race? Game! Have you met me? Why would you challenge me to a freaking race? No. No, this is this is not okay, acceptable. It's time to see how fast you are, darling. Yes, oh, Detective Zen! Go, Thank you for the hundred bits! I don't do races! Oh dear. Um, Elixie! <laughs> Only if I can ride the train to the end of this race. <laughs> it, it does appear that a train has entered the rogues gallery. Um, please be sure to attack it with all vigor. And thank you. Ah! No, I'm trailing somebody. I need... Must go faster. Must go faster. You know what's hilarious? And what I never noticed until just a couple days ago. Um, you know that the iconic must, must go faster line, uh, Jeff Goldblum's must go faster line, that... Um, he actually says it in two movies. Oh my God. How many? I can't even watch because I'm busy trying to win a race. Thank you all so much. I will say thank you as soon as I can. Um, Cause I, I can see uh, Tony and Hannah and Zen and I can see the bits happening. I just ah can't can't math how many. Um, but so uh, Jeff Goldblum, I always knew he said must go faster in um, in Jurassic Park. You did it! I you won. Quick like greasy lightning. Greasy I'm lightning. So proud of you, darling. You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? But he also says okay, the must go faster line in Independence Day. You do a lot of floating in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. 
Right, I have to float. Um, we all float down here. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! What is going on? So, Adventures of Tony, so far today, I'm ignoring instructions. That's fine, we'll figure it out. Portico! One, four, five, five hundred and ten bits. Adventures of Tony. Thank you. Uh, and let me count, I think, 200 from you, Detective Zen. And I see a uh, hundred from Elixie, 500 from Hannah, and 500 from Lord Portico. <laughs> um, you know, generally people, like, generally rogues rob trains. Um, I don't think that that usually happens by throwing money at them. But I do appreciate it. Throws fake bits. <laughs> Thank you for the fake bits, too, Shadows of Life. Um, and honestly, uh, the bits are very much appreciated, but um, never required. And uh, I appreciate just having you all here. Um, I will... We are somewhat close. We are 22% away from a full level one hype train, which I believe if you reach the end of a level one hype train, you should get an emote. If you donated at least 100 bits, um, donated, if you uh, contributed at least 100 bits during the hype train. Um, I do not actually know what the current emotes are. We're so rogue, we've gone back to good. Um, so not that I'm saying that you should, I'm just saying like, if you all want emote, uh, we're not quite to the point where you would get any. And Detective Zen brings us closer and, and Hannah finishes us out. Um, thank you both for those additional 100 bits. Um, that way you should all at least get level one emotes from this hype train. Uh, everybody who did at least 100 bits. Because um, that's how, uh, if you weren't, if you were unaware, that's how the, the trains work on Twitch. Um, in order to take part, it's uh, either gifting a sub or giving at least 100 bits. The bits are better for the streamer. Um, and then you have to hit level one in order for the, uh, the emotes to get rewarded. <laughs> Gotta keep them guessing, go ultra rogue. Strangely, rogue was never my favorite X-Man. A rogue is a... It, don't get me wrong, like, Rogue is an amazing character, but, um... My current favorite X-Man would be Iceman. Uh, I do believe Gambit was probably my favorite when I was younger. I kind of had a thing for him. He was attractive and had a nice accent. Um... <laughs> gonna have to buy more bits for future trains? I mean, that happens. I mean, I don't know who's here. I never know precisely who's here. So I, I know that some of you here know how hype trains work. You have to let me know if you get good emotes. Although I think it's been a while since they did a new round of like emotes. So everybody, people might already it, have all of them. You might get a little more oomph than usual. I just, I don't know. It's possible everybody's already got all the emotes. One of your first fandom ships was Rogue and Gambit. W was that not official? I guess I always just assumed that Rogue and Gambit were together. Hmm. <laughs> 
we do have a dossier on everyone. <laughs> I mean, there was an application process for for getting in the gallery or no, no, not an application process. Sorry, it was a um. <clears throat> ah! I forgot how floating works. This is pretty cool. This level is really in interesting. Um, no, nobody had to apply to get here. It, it was, it was, um, you just had to, you know, be a famous enough rogue, right? Isn't that how it works? I don't, I, I'm, I'm blathering on about nothing at this point. So just ignore me or don't. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, nothing but shadows in your dossier, indeed. Major Elixi. <laughs> yeah, Major. <laughs> Falling at the ground and missing? I mean, yeah, I did fall and I missed the ground. This is actually probably the most fun level I've had. It, it has some um, unfortunate uh, heterosexism in it, but. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. Of course I am. Okay, I rode the bubble vents. Float through the hoops. Oh, I have to float through them? Okay, it's fine. Um. What, jeez. What, jeez. 10 bits. My internet service preventer did not want me thanking you for the hype train. <laughs> yeah, uh, my internet service preventer did not want me to thank you for the hype train, um, but I'm gonna thank you anyway. Thank you all so very much for the total of 1,610 bits uh, that were thrown at that train and chased it away. Oh. Have a good meeting, Tony. Uh, if I don't see you back here, I will see you over at Q Times for, uh, geez, what, episode four of Ember Squad? And that graphic is getting a workout tonight. <clears throat> Aggressive capacity increased? I can store more side blast shots now. You know, if I remembered how they worked, there they go. I've been trying the entire stream to remember how to use them um, because I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Ooh. I didn't even know that was possible. <gasps> Have you all seen, there's apparently like a fan thing happening where somebody's remaking um, like a fan project is remaking that the the Simpsons video game, the one. Um, oh gosh, what's it called? I can't think of the name of it. I I should just stop talking since I can't remember the name of it. I I'm somewhat excited for for this thing that I was talking about that I can't tell you the name of because I've forgotten. Um, hit and run, yeah. I'm just, I'm blown away by the fact that it's like a fan project. Um, uh, not the same kind of fan as what I'm currently uh, trying to float from here. Dang it! There. <laughs> this is how we're gonna do this level. Wait, who, is somebody crying? Uh, 
Did... I swear I hear crying. I heard someone crying. Who though could it be? Maybe it was Mary calling out, come see. Sorry, uh, I, I, it seemed like a perfect time to sing some Secret Garden. Um, <laughs> it was, it is the emotional baggage. Um, when I um, deal with the emotional baggage. All emotional baggage sorted. That was a, um, that was a statement, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm always really happy when I deal with the emotional baggage. What a statement. All right. We've got another bowl. Uh huh. This looks. There are so many things to do, and I don't. Mm, I don't know where to go first. You only discovered the Secret Garden musical a few years ago. The year that ISU did it. Yeah, it's a great musical. Uh, I've seen, there's a movie of it and I've seen the movie a few times. Um, I don't necessarily like the movie all that much, but the, uh, the musical itself I like quite a lot. Um. Ha ha! I got here. I'm going to break things now to deal with my own emotional baggage. Boy. Well, too bad for you. Hey, you teach me how to dance. Come on, dance, baby. Oh yes, Elixie is indeed actually a um, a quite. Hey, you teach me how to dance. I, I wouldn't Come say on, dance, infamous. Baby. I would say Elixie is a quite renowned uh, cocktail and mocktail maker within certain circles. I have to go up there next. I could try to go there next. I think it would be easier this way. Who's that I see? It's Ross Buten, the rolling rock star. In the you own at least three of them. I think we may have had this conversation before. without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. I got my levitation certification. Because somebody recently told me that there were, like, within the last, while I've been streaming, somebody told me there were multiple movie versions. I had forgotten, though. So cute. I mostly don't either, Detective Zen. Um, not for any particular reason other than that I just don't really care for it. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. 
but I missed out on so many things in that room. watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream dopey from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. And is, I mean, there's honestly nothing wrong with him just being just like that. Right? Right. You don't for medication reason? Um, Excuse me, Agent Bodello? Hello, I mean, technically now, during the day, I, I wouldn't be able to for um, medication reasons. But in the evenings, my medication wears off, and so... Um, I would be able to in the evenings. It's just like maybe I will have a drink every six months or so. No, I'm here to warn you. I think there's a monster in the lake. You mean the hideous hulking longfish of Lake Oblongada? Darling, every summer camp has its stories, but that's all <clears> we <throat> are. This one ate Dogen's brains. Now stop spreading rumors. I know Dogen seems a little naive, but he's actually a very powerful psychic. You know what it's like to stand out, Rasputin. So maybe you could help him out, eh? I mean, honestly, that's not... That's some of the best, like, adult advice that I have seen in this game. Is... He, he went to her saying something was wrong with this kid. Now, cobwebs getting you down. I've got just the device up here in the main large store. Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb just before they're all sold out? She dismissed his concerns. Uh, but it clearly seems like other people have brought this issue up previously and as far as she's aware you know he's just different and so her response was well no he's just like that and you know what it's like to be different so maybe you should you know try and be his friend that's actually some of the, the best advice that I've seen in this game uh Sorry, I have to scroll chat for a second because I wasn't paying attention. Amateur cocktail historian. Yep. You don't. You just appreciate a good one. With, yeah. And <clears throat> for me, uh, my go-to, very, very rarely, R rarely enough that um, we actually ordered a case of them from the grocery store and the person at the grocery store uh, sorry I'm contextualizing and I haven't said anything yet one second uh, <laughs> most of my D&D &D characters don't drink either um, yeah yeah homemade grenadine is a very different profile um, sorry uh, my go-to drink is Moscato de Asti I just wanted to stop by and say hi. Oh, how nice. Isn't it a lovely day? It just seems like on a beautiful day like this, nothing could go wrong, you know? Uh-huh. Um, and so if you're unfamiliar, Moscato de Asti is a um, sweet white wine um, that is a sparkling wine and is generally considered to be a dessert wine. Uh... I, 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 I'm really bad at this. Um, it's fine. It's all fine. Um, and so that is kind of like my go-to wine, or my go-to alcoholic beverage, honestly. Um, I used to prefer like Guinness or like a Harp lager. Um, I just don't really care for beer that much. Um... But I do still think, like, if I was going to have one, it would be a Guinness. Uh, but... I 
on sale now in the main store. We have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? I Dream hear Fluffs. you. Yeah, good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Um, but the Moscato de Asti is is my favorite. Uh, the other thing is um, just a good amaretto on the rocks. Ah! Uh oh, I, I'm so gonna die. Cause the devil will drag you under by the sharp lapels of his checkered coat. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. You're rocking the boat. Um, sorry. Uh, that was my reaction to uh, being pulled under by that thing. Is somebody knocking? Um, so yeah, my, my general go-tos are Guinness, which I, I don't even think I would qualify or classify Guinness as a beer. Um, Guinness is a stout, which is, I suppose, a style of beer, sort of. Uh, but, ah, whoop, shoot, I'm about to be dragged under again. Um. I can't finish a sentence because I'm trying to talk while I play, which is... Oh, that wasn't the pajama game. That was uh, Guys and Dolls. I know because I was in it in high school. Um, but pajama game, that... I, I, I like the pajama game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. I think my favorite song from pajama game is Hernando's Hideaway. It's a great song. I love Hernando's Hideaway. Oh, come on. I've got to be able to get up there. This is silly. Um, pajama game is a, it's, an interesting, uh oh, uh, an interesting show. Pajama Game is a movie musical that I, I guess it's been performed on stage at some point, but it was definitely a movie musical first. Um, but yeah, the, my favorite song from Pajama Game is Hernando's Hideaway. Uh, it's just, it's. It's cute and fun, and I can't sing it, but I love it. Um, oh, I give up. Um, think of the time you say it. <clears throat> okay, uh, I should stretch and make sure that I'm sitting well and drink some liquid, and I'm trying to get the stuff that's on top of this, but... Getting up there is proving challenging. Ah. Thank you, uh, Lord Portico, for taking care of me. You just sang the high notes in your head. Wait, the high notes to what? I don't know which song uh, you were singing in your head. Hopefully it was one you like. It's always my preference. Oh, sit down, you're rocking the boat. Oh, I had such a crush on one of the guys uh, that played one of the leads in Guys and Dolls in my high school production. I mean, he was a senior, I was a freshman. Um, but he was quite attractive. Uh, trying to remember which character he played. And honestly, I don't remember the guy's name either. Uh, the character was the, the, whichever character it is that takes the, um, religious girl to Cuba. I don't remember that character's name right now. I've got to be able to get up there. 
It's got to be possible. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Hmm. Let's strage, strage, strategize. I could go at it from the other direction, but that's how I fell in the water the first time, so I was trying not to do that. I always could get on a boat, too. Sky Masterson, yeah. I do not remember who played Sky Masterson in my high school production. Because, um, like I said, I was a freshman. I barely interacted with this guy, but he was really cute. Um, <laughs> You're kidding. It will not let me glide over there. What? I thought it was just me not doing well before, but no, it's there's an invisible wall there. Let's Stratego. Oh my god, I hated that game. Um, as a kid. Really did not like Stratego. I don't remember how to pick things up. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Oh, jeez. How many deaths have I glugged? I wasn't even thinking about it, but you're right. That those should have all counted as deaths. All right, we're going to try this. And again, invisible wall. So unfair. Our Sky Masterson had black hair and he was cute. And, you know, that was all that it took for me to have a crush. I'm silly. Can I jump off the boat, I wonder? Maybe the family was exaggerating the curse. Maybe they weren't. Um, well... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There are poles to climb, but I have to be able to get up there to do it. And I have not yet figured out how I can get up there. I think I have to get up there from over there, but I can't glide over to there. I'm, I have to get past the bully. Go talk to the bullies again. That was what I was about to do. So do I need to prepare something different on my abilities wheel, I wonder? Telekinesis? Oi. I guess I'll talk to him. Oh dear. Hey. Hey Bobby, someone's stealing kids' brains. Well, in that case, you've got nothing to worry about. Uh, oh, Zen, you're you're correct. That is got to definitely be uh, the slogan of my internet service preventer. Okay, so I talked to him. It doesn't seem to have done any good. Can I throw him, please? It doesn't let me throw him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Apparently hitting him doesn't work either. Uh, I have failed this puzzle. I am I am not puzzle. How do? How do? See, I, it seems like I should just be able to bounce up here, but I can't. Frackin' close, though. Heck. I don't know, but I will take it. Wait, was there like an actual way I was supposed to get up here? Diver's helmet. I wonder if there, there must have been some actual way I was supposed to get up here. I, I have no idea what that way is, but I'm happy with the solution I created for myself. I'm somewhat happy. All right, time for some mental gymnastics again. Whoa, don't fall. <laughs> that's that's how you play games is you start to fall and you yell at yourself not to fall. I bet I was supposed to just bounce and like grab onto the netting. It was probably so much simpler than I made it. the bully. The bully can't bull me anymore. Um, I can't slide up that, apparently. Don't fall, says the character. What? What do you mean, don't fall? Ka-ching. All right. Oh, yeah, there was a reason we were coming over here. Uh, you've got to be fracking kidding me. Do I have to? How do I? What? I am now confuzzled. Well, I'm going to do this. Do I have to... You better not be telling me that's what I have to do. Oh, dear. I, th I think that's what I have to do. Oh, not as bad as I thought. Never mind. Sorry. I'm concerned over everything. And nothing. Okay. I completely forgot that the whole point of getting over here was to investigate that large diving apparatus. I should maybe save. Somehow, I don't think us going under the water is probably is, is necessarily a great idea considering what happens when the water but also it doesn't seem like we're going to be going under the water so we're just inside this thing okay what was the point of that It's a chaos stream. Indeed, it is. Um, 
Oh, I got both scavenger hunt items from this area. Things I gotta do. Buy a cobweb duster. Go see Agent Cruller to get a new Psy power. Well, darn. I probably have to do that before I can do whatever this is. Considering that's on that's the only thing really on my to-do list right now. Which means I'm gonna have to figure out how to get over here again sometime. He lets me go that way. Hey, you're Agent Cruller. You're not gonna give me anything. That canoe. Are you in love with it? it what? Maybe. Psychic residue. Some kind of fish has been tearing holes in our canoes. I'm trying to pick up its scent. Ah, don't worry now, baby. Nobody's ever gonna hurt you again. I promise. I think he's having a midlife crisis. It's painted red. I wonder what what he named it. Uh, I have never named my computer. That's not a thing that I've done. But I have named uh, my cars. My last two cars, my, well, my current car is named Nutmeg. I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, say hi. Zen, um, points. Many, 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 many points. Good points. Excellent. Excellent work. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my current car is named um, Nutmeg. My prior car was named Cardamom. They're both, they're both like beige, gold, the Toyota beige color. Um, the first one was named Cardamom because I bought it from my mom. Uh, and because it was sort of the color of cardamom. Um, the second one, I couldn't name cardamom because the other one was already named cardamom, but I also bought it from my mom, and it was the same color. So that's why it's named Nutmeg. Not, be like, my mom's name is not Meg, and um, it, it has nothing to do, it was just because of the color and the spice association. That That's why. Anyway, never mind. I'm so All of its spoilers for Psychonauts 2. Wait, are people disappearing and not just their brains? Have I missed, like, is the camp slowly, like, losing all of the children? I've mostly been ignoring all the kids. You didn't think I needed to explain why it was called Nutmeg? You in the store? Take a look. Whoa, that's my last cop. Thank you for that. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. I happy to be rid of the webs. Still turn them don't have enough for that. Now this isn't that, where I needed to go. The color of some of your psi powers. Ah, now here's something every young psi cadet needs. Now with that, ah, now here's something every young Psy cadet needs. I'm gonna buy it. I'll take it. Alrighty then. From now on, useful psychic energy will automatically be drawn toward me from a distance. What else can I do you for? From a distance. Now, now, you take that Psy core there, put it together I'll with nine. It. Sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? 
Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious new Alrighty then. You can open a dream fluff at any time to fully restore your mental health. Oh, if only it was that easy. Um, and if you lose all your mental health, they open themselves automatically. What else can I do you um, for? Take it. Excellent choice. You know, I'm what just gonna buy... Alrighty then. We're what still gonna need to get the cobweb duster eventually, but... That's it for now. All right, go get more airheads. Come on back. Support your local merchants. I understand he said go get more arrowheads, but I heard go get more airheads. Um, and my brain said candy because we had just been looking at the marshmallow fluffs. Um, it was on that screen in the upper right. It might have been behind me on that screen. I currently have three left. Because I spent, like, all of them. I had 560-something. 560 563, I think. But yeah, it might have been showing the my arrowhead total behind uh, my camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need more arrowheads. But first, where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's finally go to uh, where it said I was supposed the to go. I mean, my yeah, I need more deep ones. Yes, no, well, Psycho Master. Two head. Two heads are better than one, yeah. Rubber Bridegroom is a good show. Dedication and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. But you have not taught me how to be invisible. Oh shoot, which bee is that? I'm trying to see the colors. I see a... A bee that is yellow, blue, and white, and okay, my brain. Let's play a game. Look out! Another sensor. Oh no! You're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. Arrow. <laughs> of course. Of course, it's the arrow bee. On a completely unrelated topic. Did you know that you can use the power of invisibility to cloud the visual cortex of all those around you? What? Don't let him see you. Hey, where'd he go? Careful now. Hey, where'd he go? But you said I was Don't supposed to cloud your visual visi visual cortex. Uh oh, I think I've run out of. Um... On a completely unrelated topic, did you know that you can use the power of invisibility to cloud the visual cortex of all those around you? Don't let him see I failed. Hey, let me repeat myself. Here are the rules. Take this guy out. Yeah, but I understand. I just you ran out of psychic okay. power because I was playing around. Careful now. Oh, well done. Now that's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Oh dear. Okay. I don't think Agent Cruller actually understands the concept of merit badges. Because generally you get merit badges after you do the thing. Not before they even teach you how it's done. I'm not going to complain that they gave me a new power, but it's just it's backwards. You give the badge after you teach the power, not before. It's very odd. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sims Silica. <laughs> you 
<laughs> Wait, Eldritch Horror? What? Psy power upgrade earned. Palm Mega Bomb. After you start a Palm Bomb, press X as many times as you can before you hit the ground. The more times you press X, the higher the bonus damage. What is a Palm Bomb? Game, game. What's a Palm Bomb? Ah. Okay. I'll take it. I still need to buy a side core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make side challenge workers. Uh Detective Zen, I have some things to um warn you about this guy who loves his craft. Um he's not the greatest person. You might not want to associate with him. Um I think he's... Sadly, I think he's been, um, you know, worshipping as part of a cult. This is all HP. He just, you know, his beliefs are... somewhat dangerous. Do we need the spare to spare the spare the dying cantrip? Yep. Yep. Uh Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? What about the spare the tie dying cantrip? Um Take me to the kids' cabins area. His beliefs are very 1930s. Sadly, also very 2022. Um, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do now. Complete Sasha's advanced training. Return to the brain tumbler in Sasha's lab. Well, let's look for some deep arrowheads first. Some aloe for the burns. Uh hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Errands? I suppose it's acceptable. Thank you for uh being here. I will see you later, Portico. down. Empty my hands. I don't want to tickle her. I want to talk to her. What are you listening to? I can't quite make it out. But something. Something coming out of those speakers reminds me. What did you say, Yuri? Hi! What are you listening to? I didn't listen to what she said. If I, I can understand why you have a horrible camp director who subjected you to things, I can't imagine why uh, you would be having nightmares about that. Uh, all right, I want some deep arrowheads. <clears throat> oh yeah, <laughs> death says glug, um, because I wasn't paying attention. 
And so, uh, I completely forgot that there was a death counter. And Portico, I think, also forgot to count the deaths. And I died a number of times. And all of them were water related. So, that's where Glug came from. Come on, she's got to be in this area somewhere. Oh. Oops. Oops. Try that again. Oh yeah, that's the button. Okay, that only brought me to 33. Let's just set the deaths at 103. I mean, at this point, maybe 15103. Wait, that's not. That number means nothing to anybody but me, so uh, anyway, never mind. I'm silly. My brain said, oh, this must be a, a Starship registry number, but. Then I realized it was a house number for a place I used to live. Come on! I've got to be close! It's pulsating and screaming loudly! But I can't tap the button fast enough! Okay. There. You're kidding, that was only 20? Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. I'm looking for arrowheads. Ah! Especially not when my um, arm is jerking madly up and down, right? Got squealy bopper noises happening. One moment, Tony. I'm trying to find this arrowhead. It screams at me here. There. It's it's in incredibly precise. Um, I haven't done the scavenger hunt very much yet. Some silica. Uh, right now, I'm trying to earn money. The equivalent of money in this game is these arrowheads, and I have a dousing rod that tells me where they are. Um, and Tony, because it's been a while since I put this one on, and because this is the second hat trick you have um, gotten tonight, uh... I'm going to do
this hat. I mean, I'm always trying to earn money. I love this hat. Okay, sorry, I, the, the music, <laughs> the music got me dancing. Um, okay. Ooh, can I get up there now? I love this hat, this, this hat this is an excellent hat. Safety deck. You can dance if you want to, you can leave your friends behind Cause your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well they're no friends of mine I certainly can I have learned to float Like a butterfly And sting like a bee Well, I mean, the floating like a butterfly part at least Is there, like, a trapeze over there? The safety dance is indeed not that safe. S, 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 A, A, F, F, E, T, 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 Y, Y, Y. Safety dance. Sorry, I know a little bit too much ab about um, Men Without Hats, as far as, like, their catalog of music. Meaning, I've listened to their songs more than once. Um, which is all it requires for you to know too much about their back catalog of music. Uh, sorry, I'm running around collecting all the things we couldn't collect before because I now have new abilities. I still don't know what to do with this crow feather. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Today, while driving, bunnies were a hazard. Usually, I worry about skunks, but today, Bunnies just wanted to run out into the road, and usually that's squirrels. Um, like, I know I just said it was usually uh, skunks, but also squirrels. The squirrels will just sit there in the middle of the road and challenge you to, like, run over them. Nearby. An issue with robins. <laughs> Come on. I can get it. I can get it. I. Got it! We're up to 108. It's behind my camera. You can't see the number. Yeah, the squirrels just like sit there and they just, they just, squirrels don't care. I think they've been taking lessons from Honey Badger. to drive bunnies? No, the bunnies have been, like, uh, there were multiple bunnies today that were like, hey, I want to come and meet your car up close. And I was like, but I don't want you to meet my car up close. Cause no. 
Um, where to from here, I wonder? Wait, I can't walk on that and douse at the same time? Yeah, I can. Honey badgers in a honey heist. <laughs> yeah, the squirrels around here are just like, they, they just really don't care. It's very bizarre. And the skunks around here just get run over. Come on, I'm so close. We're up to 200, only 600 more. I may have um, spent unwisely. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Also, there's a bear in this cave and I don't really want to encounter him. Death by bear has happened. Possibly? I don't I don't know. I'm attacking the bear. I may have beaten the bear. I have been scared of that bear since the first day we played this game. Hello. Oh, I I don't think I was supposed to beat the bear. Uh, the death counter says Glug because we weren't paying attention and I kept dying in the water. So we don't know how many deaths there were, just that they were water related. Hmm. The bear in this case says it's 843 and Elixi has to return to your visiting family. Thank you, Elixi, for the warning. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, the short answer is always Lord Portico. I mean, well, no, okay. I honestly don't actually know how tall Lord Portico is, so I shouldn't say that, but. Come on. Maybe? <laughs> this is. Frustrating, and at the same time, ah! uh, which I think also means frustrating, doesn't it? I'm so close. Yes, 378. Bye, Alexi. Come on. Just give me the arrowheads! <laughs> it's like I'm searching for something real. I'm not. I'm searching for in-game currency. Ooh, I got another, uh... $4.99. No way to compare height. It's fine. I don't need to know how tall people are. I am most likely shorter than, uh, than Portico. Because anybody who, um, is masculine presenting, I am most likely shorter than. It's not an inevitable rule. Like, it, it, it occasionally happens that I am not shorter than someone. It reminds you of probing. In, it, in some ways, I, I sort of am probing. I mean, I'm following 
uh, my giant pole at waist level around as I search for um, something within a hole, essentially. Yeah, if I have to look up to see their face, they're taller than me. That's a good rule of thumb. Um, now I'm five six, which I never really thought was short, but apparently is kind of short. Only sometimes I might be like five eight. Don't really know. It's inconsistent the measurements that happen. Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty average. Well, actually, I guess technically sort of short. You're six four. Oh my gosh, that's tall. I generally wear at least a one inch heel. Um, in my shoes because um, standard pant sizes. Ah! There, got it. 567. Um, so standard pant sizes for guys, just what's on the rack here in the US. I'm taller than Sam DeLev when they sit down. That is true. Um, standard pant sizes in the U.S. Uh, for guys' pants, uh, the shortest inseam is 30 inches. Um, I have a 29-inch inseam. Which manufacturers make, but stores don't actually stock. So if I want my pants to fit... I need to wear a shoe with at least a one inch heel so that I'm not walking on the backs of my pants. And then I can just buy off the rack and not have to worry about like ordering. So that's what I do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this away for now. I'm done. I'm done with the dowsing. I don't want to pack up smelling salts unless I Pant sizes are ridiculous. And I really want to get out. I to they smell pretty bad. I tore uh, my I, I tore one of my pairs of pants. I went um I did study abroad in the Netherlands for a month uh, in in college. And when I was over there, I tore my pants and needed to go and buy another pair. Um, and what I discovered was, in the Netherlands, nobody carries a 30-inch inseam. Because they're all much taller. Um, and so nobody carries a 30-inch inseam over there. And I ended up having to, hey, you finished half of the scavenger hunt, so you've qualified for the first half of your prize. Go see Ranger Ford for your big promotion. I have no idea where Ranger Ford is, but okay. Um, so I had to buy um, pants that were too long and just roll the cuffs. Because uh, I was outside my country and just needed clothes to wear for then. It's fine, I survived. I bought so many clothes at H&M when I was in the Netherlands. I had never even heard of H&M before, but I bought so many clothes there. When I needed um, replacement pants for the ones that I tore, I had to go to, uh, I went to the Levi's store in the Netherlands for those, but um, yeah, it was a good time. I actually, that month off was the most amazing thing. It, it made the rest of the year very difficult. Uh, cause I worked full time while I was in grad school and 
uh, taking a month to go study abroad while working full time was not easy. Um, basically, I used save. I used all of my accrued vacation, and um, basically, I couldn't take any sick days or time off the entire year outside of the uh, time that I was studying abroad. So I used all of my time off for the whole year. But it was worth it. Q Times has gone live. Thank you, uh, Detective Zen. Um, let me find a tree stump to go down. Uh, I've been running around a lot. It's time to go down a hole. If I can find a hole to go down. Oh, but there was that thing. We have a minute or so. I'm just... Blurf, blurf, nah! I'm making weird noises now. Gross, what? You got in trouble for rolling your cuffs at an office job that had you go off site one day. What? Why didn't you hem them yourself? You're a girl. That is ridiculous. I discovered how I was supposed to get that condor egg, but, uh, okay. Where is the thing? I'm, there it is. Just going to the lab. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crowler? Take you, take me to my, my place. My sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Aviation. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have forgotten. I knew that. Oh, dang it. I didn't buy any Psycores. Whatever, it's fine. I'm just gonna jump up these stairs and save, and then we'll, we'll do the raid and, uh... That'll be the stream for today. Um, I'm actually enjoying this game. Um, I was really put off by some of the mental health stuff early on in the game. Um, and it, it definitely needs a robust trigger warning list or content warning list. But overall, I, I'm enjoying the game. So let's uh, let's pause the credits. Um, and let me say thank you very much, everybody, for joining me today. Um, are the credits going to roll? There they go. Um, let me start by saying thank you to my mods, uh, who are absolutely amazing. Um, let me say thank you to uh, my subscriber over on Coffee. Was not worth it. Um, and then thank you. Hannah for 100 bits, Detective Zen for 100 bits, Lord Portico for 500 bits, Detective Zen for 100 bits, Hannah for 500 bits, Adventures of Tony for 10 bits, Elixi for 100 bits, Detective Zen for 100 bits, Adventures of Tony for 100 bits, Adventures of Tony for 300 bits, and Adventures of Tony for 100 bits! Ah! So much bits! Um, thank you very, very much for all of the support, everybody, and thank you, everybody, who joined me today. Um, we are going to be popping over to Q Times, uh, as is traditional for our Monday stream. Um, and we will be joining the stream punks as they play episode four, I believe it is, of Ember Squad, their Star Wars uh, Age of Rebellion uh, tabletop role playing game live play wonder that it is, uh, GM'd by Eric Campbell, uh, and with um, some wonderful uh, players whose names are Quincy Surismith, Noir Enigma, Anita Weeb, Sam DeLev, and Gina DeVivo. I got it. 
all from my brain. Um, all right. I say start raid. Wait, what's four? Uh, yeah, I think it's episode four. Um, anyway, thank you all for joining me. I'll be live next on Wednesday for uh, Archival Adventures. We're going to be doing the three... 18th century women scientists episode that was supposed to happen mid June and that I ended up being sick and had to cancel. Uh, so that one's happening this Wednesday. Um, so it'd be lovely if you stopped by. Uh, Saturday, the plan is to be live for Ultima 6, and then Sunday is Mass Effect 3. Uh, we'll be back for more Psychonauts next Monday night, uh, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, and I hope that I will see you all again soon. Until I do, Get out there and do some shenanigans, everybody.